Who did Kim Kardashian pay a million dollars for? For sex tapes? Or maybe something else? That article, article about the Fed, and it's pretty funny. And then what happened to Robin Hood today? What a mess that is. All those articles today in OG crypto and NFTs. Welcome everyone, my name is Troy. And Monday through Saturday, we go over the latest news in crypto and digital assets, as well as NFTs. Now, before we jump into it, let's go. And I know it's, it's kind of relentless if you watch me every day, all two of you. Hit that subscribe button. I mean, just do it. It's just, it just for the hell of it, right? <laughs> make, it a, make it a meme joke, right? Let's just do that. All right. And when you're done with this and, and enjoying the content, hit that like button. I definitely really appreciate it. All right. Let's get into Kim Kardashian, CNBC. Kim Kardashian pays over $1 million to settle SEC charges linked to a crypto promo on her Instagram. What a joke. Thank you, Gary Gensler, for making yourself a, a meme. I have seen, if, if anybody wants to have the best 15 minutes of your day, go on to Gary Gensler's Twitter account and anything he posts, just take a look at the, the responses. You will see some of the funniest stuff that's going on there. He is a clown and you will see many of those on there as, as being a clown. So come on this is just this is another publicity stunt by you know the egomaniac egg boy gary gensler i mean let's go after popular you know you know celebrities so i can go on cnbc every week and tell him what what good i did yet he won't meet with any of the investors that he he vowed to protect but he'll definitely you know make fun of or attack everybody and everything in sight that he can he thinks that he's going to get some newsworthy article from so from the media so hey kim i know you paid it i know you had to deal with it and it's kind of funny he went after you you paid it it's in the past and now he comes out with it, beating his chest, and he's on CNBC today. What a joke. Next. All right. Here's the funny one right here. I, I love this little uh, cartoon right here of all these little Bitcoins breaking out of Fed jail. Millions of cryptocurrencies vanish as ages watch helpless. It's so funny. I, I look back and I say, you know, do, do you think the feds would have, you know, where they, where they seize all this cryptocurrencies? Do you think that they would have a spot where they could put their cryptocurrencies and it would be just like a complete lockdown. Like the security would be just beyond awesome. It didn't happen. Feds lock up storage device full of ill-gotten tokens. Then someone started stealing the loot. Hacked, hacked. The federal government hacked? Are you kidding me? Come on, all you wokers. You can't, you can't, you know, you're sitting in front of your computers every day. You can't like stop this crap. Oh my God, this is hilarious. What, what, a, the Fed is just a mess. Uh, I, I'm sorry, not the Fed, the federal government, the feds are just a mess. All right, next article. Gary, come out and play. U.S. Senate bill seeks to cushion crypto exchanges from SEC enforcement actions. What a joke. They have to make, I mean, come on, Congress. Come on, Maxine Waters, you're the problem. You're out there town, here in, in Southern California. You won't let senators and congressmen question the SEC directors. You keep denying them. Why? What's, what's the real problem? What are you hiding, Maxine Waters? Come on, I'm calling you out. The, they have to actually come up with an entire new bill to stop the SEC. Seriously, we can't figure out what rules and what interpretation of rules the SEC has. So now we have to come up with bills to stop them. What a joke, guys. Federal government's a joke. The Digital Trading Clarity Act of 2022. So we have to, we have to clarify some rules here because we have some idiot that's ahead of the SEC. Aims provide regulatory clarity around classifying digital assets and related liabilities under the existing security laws. Well, the existing security laws that Gary Gensler wants to go over are from the 1930s and 40s. But you understand, 
that those rules have nothing to do today with today's rules. And we're so happy to see Ripple. And even though anyone holding XRP is unhappy, but we're happy to see him fight him and make him look like the fool egg boy that he is. Let's move on. All right, here we go. Trending. Robin Hood lets go nearly 25% of their employees as over 2 million retail investors left the app. Well, if you're in the crypto and you're in the Robin Hood, the majority of your assets were not really custodied anywhere. You had no, no custody of them. They were just, they were not actual assets. You just traded against Robin Hood. So you didn't actually, you couldn't pull the assets off, the, off of Robin Hood. They were just virtual assets. And so Robinhood then turned around in the last year or so have allowed a couple of coins to then trade off or be pulled off their, their, their site. They completely missed the boat. If you notice, Robinhood took that hit with AMC, you know, by, by playing around with retail investors and then, of course, sucking up to uh, hedge funds and they got burned badly. Well, guys, now the second that the market takes a little bit of a dip, Robin Hood takes a crap, right? Let's go on to something even better. All right. I, you know, you know, it's a, it's a bear market. We all know it's a bear market. This just tells you what we're looking at on the NFT side. You know, I, I, I'm on crypto. I've been on crypto Twitter now for probably a year. And the majority of, of the last, let's call it 12 months uh, of the year or nine months up, up leading up to it the day I got on for nine months all everyone did was worship these nft influencers that sat there all day and just and just uh wanted to promote pump and dumps and they made a lot of money and that's no problem but today where are those guys at they're nowhere they they all came out with nfts they're all virtually worthless they're down 80 90 percent there's nothing going on the the nft market has has switched it's off of you know animal pictures and it's on to a lot more meaningful applications for your life with that being said there's still some utility out there on some of them but the majority of them were all about getting a money grabs and that's what's happening you know not that i'm happy to see this but if you really look at it, OpenSea is just not, it's, it's not about utility. It's all about these, you know, animal, animal pictures. Let's go on to the next one. All right. I'm going to bring Emmy onto this, uh, our producer. How you doing, Emmy? I am good. Oh, we got the headphones on. Yeah, huh? I got the headphones on. I want to make sure everybody's getting good sound. <laughs> okay. Well, how are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Yay. And so I know over the weekend uh, that you had gone out mm -hmm. and I gone out and we had a lot to drink, right? Yeah. So we separately. were separately, separately. 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 HR, so we don't need HR to clock us. I, well, <laughs> <laughs> I punched in personally, but what the hell? <laughs> Uh, so we were kind of like the walking dead, <laughs> right? I was the walking dead walking into the office. Right, there morning. you go. <laughs> so Orange Common announces the walking dead avatar NFT man. Tell us talk about it. Yeah. So this is really interesting. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we got her out of the walking dead, yeah, right? Yeah. There's no NFTs that she's going to be in yeah. on this, on this, 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 this mint. <laughs> Um, yeah, so this is super fun. I think the Walking Dead series is really interesting. So I love seeing this franchise being brought back by this. It looks like they're going to have about 5,000 avatars, uh, five unique rarities, and then access to the Walking Dead Lands universe. Kind of like their little flyer thing they're going over. But the thing that we were talking about that's really interesting is... Uh, the exclusive mint is only available to holders of the Walking Dead Walker Access Passes. You can purchase a Walker Access Pass on the secondary market, OPC. So how much is the Walker Access Pass? Go back here. It, let's, it, let's go this way. So you can click on it. We'll get a seat. Oh, okay, yeah. Drum roll, please. OPC will tell us right now. So it's 0.11. Okay. Dude, those are pretty cool. Yeah, Check they them are. Out. Those are really actually really neat. So well, I, well, let's click on one of them. Okay, let's do this. Because you know what they're doing, right? And hit the play button. Let's go see what he does. <gasps> oh, neat. Yeah, this is not one of my favorite. 
Well Walker. I think I remember what scene this was from. This is pretty cool. So you yeah. so you get you, you, you get one, it's what point one one, it's $144, $145. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then you're able you know you're able to then purchase an NFT. You know, this is pretty cool. If you're really involved in this particular, you know, series, this is cool. I mean, to own one of these and then go ahead and, and mint, an, an, you know, another NFT. And you, it's like it just memorializes that, you know, your time. Now, when they come out with Breaking Bad, I'm in for that one, right? I want the Walter Weiss, yeah. you know, or the yeah. Jesse. But yeah, this is this is a pretty cool series on, what is it, AMC? AMC, yeah, this yeah. is from AMC. Uh, I'm really curious to see what they're going to do with this and if possibly uh, this NFT collection might coincide with the Universal Studios NFT okay. thing. Remember the, how they're going right, to have right. the different, the two different parts? This is crazy how much NFTs are now just, I mean, yeah. I, I get it. Some of this is going to be, uh, you know, a smash and grab for money. There's no question about it. Mm-hmm. But I mean, personally, if I was really into a certain series, yeah. I would, I would, I, you know, I'd buy that in two seconds. Man, The Walking Dead was so popular, like at, right. its, at its height. So I could see a lot of people being really uh, either emotionally tied to it or just right. following in. But either way, I think this one's going to do well. Now, now, let me ask you this. I mean, and I know when you first got hired here, prior to that, you had no really actual information or recollection, mm-hmm. or no no knowledge on NFTs. You come here, you start seeing NFTs. You start seeing there's a lot more people out, a lot more, you know, from just animal NFTs and communities all the way through these now things that are that are that are like collectibles, yeah. more collectibles. And then you're starting to see, you know, real utility NFTs. Uh, I know that as time goes by, if I was a Walking Dead fan, and I gotta think that 95, let's just call it 95% of the Walking Dead fans don't have an NFT, doesn't really, you know, there's probably 50 or 60% never heard of the word. Mm-hmm. Other ones heard of it, just know it's a term and mm-hmm. it's a, and people talk everything rip off, right? That's yeah, kind yeah, of a, yeah. But if you held one of these and in a couple of years, and I don't know, this series is still going on, right? They, they had spinoffs, I know that. I, I, I think it's the spinoff that's still going. I don't think the original one's still going, but I don't remember. But I, I think that, you know, a generation watched this and was really excited about it. I think that somewhere in the future, these can be worth some money because people are gonna then embrace NFTs and then go out and try to find the things that they really like. Yes, yes, or maybe, Maybe you watch the show with your parents, right? Because, like, so for me, it brings me back to when I was a kid, I would watch Keeper of the Crypt with my parents. Okay. If they had a Keeper of the Crypt NFT, I'd be stoked to have it. Right. You know? Just because yeah. just it's a memory. Right. So. Exactly. And, and, and all these programs are going to be memories of NFTs. So. Yeah. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. All right, guys. Well, thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, is Gary Ginsler in the audience? Egg Boy. Gary? Egg Boy, you're the Gary? Worst. We don't like you, Egg Boy. Bueller? I have more content coming out for you soon, Egg Boy. <laughs> well, you guys have a fantastic day. We will be back tomorrow with more Egg Boy news. He's a crook. Bye. Bye.